Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. This is Nina Budgets and I'm your girl Nina. On today's video, we're going to be cash stuffing my bills. Um, on my channel, I like to do any and everything budgeting, whether that's cash stuffing bills, savings challenges, um, budget with me, unstuffing, just all the things. So just a little bit um, of info about my channel for those that are new and welcome to those that are new. Thank you for joining the family. And if you're watching this video and you have not yet subscribed, you need to go on ahead and do that because you're missing out. So let's go ahead and hop right in. Um, I actually just got back from the bank and I have not had a chance to like go through my money, make sure it's turned the way I like it. You know, all the different things that we like to do. So we're going to do that on camera. Um, yeah. So let me grab my calculator. Let me get my money. And I think that's about all that I need. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this out. Um, we are going to be cashed up in $2,000 today. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get my money together the way I like it. Um, so yeah, just come through this with me. I just want to make sure it's the way I like it. I'm particular and um, I've always been that way. Even before I was cashed up in whatever, like I've always been that way. I like my money a certain way. I used to work at a grocery store when I was younger, so that could be the reason. I don't know. It just looks better when it's all together, when it's all uniform. I guess that's the right word for it. So how have you all been doing? Are you all watching the Olympics? I know I am. I like watching track and field. I like watching swimming. I like watching... Um, when I say track and field, swimming, gymnastics, all of that. So absolutely loving it. Oh, I got some raggedy bills in here today. I do have some nicer ones though in like an overflow binder. So I might switch them out later after the stuffing. Um, so in the video today, we're going to be getting my wallet reset and also cash stuffing bills. Um, I, so I will have some money left over potentially depending on the time of the video. Um, for another video for my sinking funds and another video, um, a separate video for my savings challenges. So this is what we are working with this week. So let's go ahead and get a quick count to make sure that the bank did what they were supposed to do. So real quick, I just want to give a quick disclaimer because I am using natural light in the clouds or passing the sun. So you will see probably the, the lighting change. So I apologize for that in advance, but let's go ahead and get into it and get this money counted. Okay, $2,000 is what we're going to be working with today. So yeah, and I remember that last week I forgot to um, tag the Etsy shop that I got my cash tray from. So I will be sure to do that in this video. So my apologies, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. And the first thing we're going to do is reset my wallet because um, we got things going on this weekend, last weekend. We didn't have like games and stuff, I don't think, but this weekend we do. So I need to get a little spending money. I need to add some money for groceries, gas, all the things. So first I am going to empty my small wallet for my change and we'll get that emptied out. I actually have a lot of change in here. I was at the store the other day and I needed, I don't know, it was like 10 cents or 12 cents or something. And my son's like, you don't have, you don't carry change. I'm like, oh, but I do. So he was very surprised to see me with change for some reason. I don't know why. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started with my wallet. And we do have some 
Uh, thank you, loud motorcycle or whatever you are coming through. So we do have some leftover money. These are my receipts. I do need to scan these because I have not yet scanned these into Fetch. Um, for those that are new and have no idea what Fetch is, it is a rewards um, app that you will have to download. I'll leave my code um, in the description box as well as in here somewhere. And you can use my code when you download and you earn extra points and I earn extra points. And when you scan your first receipt is when you'll get those extra points. And those points turn into... Um, points that you can redeem over time for gift cards and things like that. So pretty cool app, nothing to do but scan receipts for things that you already have bought anyway. So let's go into here. So in groceries, we have 20, 35 left over from last week. So we're going to roll this $30 into my grocery buffer. So I'm just going to add that in here. And this is going to go into my one and $5 savings box. So gas we have we have left over which i'm not taking that out um and then spending i just have one lonely dollar left and then i have money in my buffer that actually needs to go to the bank and that's it so let's go ahead oh and i gave i created some new envelopes for myself i mean they're still the they're the original um aesthetic that i like uh just a nice simple clean um, I didn't put any like background designs on it, but my other envelopes um, were like coming apart on the sides from like the heat with the vellum. So um, I went ahead and made some new ones. So I really like them. I did keep the same font, but I also added um, a regular print font underneath. So I really like that. So after seeing these, I think I'm going to update my actual envelopes in my binder to match this as well. So Let's get started. So groceries were doing um, $200 as normal. And I did that in 250s and then 520s. So in groceries, we have 51, 20, 40, 60, 82. Let's go ahead and move into gas. We are doing $50 in here, and I did that in a single 50. So gas now has 50, 1, 52, 250. And I didn't check any of these bills as I was um, putting them on the trade to make sure I had to do start notes. So I definitely will be looking for that. Up next is going to be my personal spending and I'm referring to my cash planning sheet to see what I gave myself. I think it might have been $20, but I don't know. I'm going to actually do um, 40 because I have to get into my son's game. I did plan 20, but I'm going to throw an extra 20 in there. And so that'll just take $20 away from one of my sinking funds. Um, or I could just take the money out of like miscellaneous. So whatever. Um, so yeah, we're going to do 40. So I'm going to do a, ten, a 20, a 10, and two fives. So we have 20, 30, 35, and 40 for personal spending. I think this is like another weekend tournament. So like we don't have the schedule for Sunday yet. So, but I know usually when they play on these Saturdays in this tournament, they have something for Sunday. So I'm probably going to have to spend $25 for like a weekend pass. Um, so yeah, so CJ spending isn't getting anything and nothing else in my buffer eating out or giving. So, cause I'm going to stuff eating out in my actual binder. So that is going to be it for my wallet. So let's get into these bills. I'm gonna put this to the side because this is gonna be in a separate video. These bills, they, that's where the money is. That's where the money be residing, y'all, in the bills. <laughs> the bills getting all the money. So up first is gonna be my mortgage. And I need to do an unstuffing. It is August the 2nd when I'm filming this. And so all of my bills are on auto pay. Um, so, I need to go ahead. I'll probably unstuff this within like, like probably around the second week of August because all my bills are um, done by then because they're due like seems like for some reason they're due at the beginning, like within the first two weeks of the month, with the exception of my water bill and my electric bill. But I go ahead and pay that um, with the rest of everything. So the one I pay my credit card of, um, I just do it all at once. So, yeah, I'll be unstuffing this money probably in a week and a half or two. So anyway, up first is going to be mortgage and mortgage is getting $388. I 
I did that in three one hundred dollar bills. 50, 70, 80, 5, 6. I'm going to try to find the nastier ones. So, yeah, 6, 7, 8. Because it has to go back to the bank anyway. So, 1, 2, 3, 350, 370, 380, 85, 6, 7, 8. So, for total and mortgage, and again, this is for September because we are a month ahead. So total we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand, eleven hundred, twenty, forty, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, one, two, three, four. So I will be like I said, this is some of August's bills as well that I have to unstuff. So eleven sixty-four in there. Up next is gonna be my electric, and that is getting one hundred and twenty-five dollars. So we did that in a 120 and a five. And we have one, two, three, 350, four, 420, 40, 445. I don't know why I got a little slow right there, but it is what it is. Up next is going to be Netflix. And we did $12 in here. So in Netflix, we have 20, 30, 35, 36, 37. Up next is going to be my home warranty, and that is getting $63. So in total, we have 100, 150, 170, 180, 185, 86, 87, 88. And next is going to be UVerse, and UVerse is getting $119. All right, and you verse down has 100, 200, 300, 320, 30, 40, 45, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 357. Yep, 357. And these are all going towards September's bills. Okay, up next is going to be water, and we're doing 119 in here. Why did I budget 119? No, there's no, yeah, I'm like, that is not right. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Water is getting $63 because my water bill is usually about 125, 130. So I'm like, why did I put 119? No, nope, I was just reading it incorrectly. So 50, 60, 1, 2, 3. So from our water bill, we now have 100, 150, 60, 70, 80. 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, and 82. So $192 in water. Up next is going to be my cell phone. And for my cell phone, we are doing $150. So for sale, we have 100, 200, 300, 450. Up next is going to be car insurance, and car insurance is also getting $150. And with my car insurance, we pay our premium for six months. So when I do my, when I take the money back and unstuff, I'll condense what I can. Um, and I'll probably, what I'll end up doing is condensing this to a $100 bill when I put that other 50 in here. So car insurance, car insurance now has 100, 200, 300, 4, 5, 6, 750 dollars. So we're saving for our next six month policy. Up next is going to be my American Express and it is getting $125.
And MX now it has 1, 2, 3, 350, 370, 375, 380, 382. Up next is going to be Canva, and Canva is going to be getting $7. So we now have 10, 15, 20, 21, and 22. Up next is going to be subscriptions, and that is going to be getting $11. And I did that in a 10 and a 1. And we now have 20, 30, 31, 32, and 33. Up next is going to be my Cinemark membership. And for that one, I'm looking at my cash plenty sheet. Okay. Um, we're going to be doing $6. So five and six. So it has 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. I need to really get this on like a yearly subscription. Um, I, I will start saving to do that later once I get done with wherever I feel like, I'm, wherever I, when I'm gonna do it because I'm really focused on some other stuff right now. So I don't wanna start like a bunch of new savings challenges until I'm focused, done with what I'm focused on. So. Um, Apple is getting skipped. Um, so this is an Apple envelope that I created. And when I punched my holes in it, I didn't know, realize that somebody had been messing around with my holes in my hole puncher. So I was like, oh, I'm not redoing this, but anyway, it's going to just stay how it is. But this is for my Apple card, um, payment. So I will be adding no money in there today because I don't need to at this point. Um, but I will be adding some shortly when I do um my next stuffing i believe so yeah that's going to be it for my bills binder and since we are looking pretty good on time i think i'm going to go ahead and cash stuff my high priority i believe we're looking good on time yeah we're right at like 17 minutes and i think it's fine so let's jump into it i wasn't planning on doing this but Let's go ahead and do it. So up first, we're going to put money into my savings and we're going to add $25 in there. I did that in a 20 and a five. So we have 1,000, 1,100, 1,200, 13, 13, 20, 40, 65, 75. So $1,375. This is a $1,000 placeholder. It just represents money that we have in our um, account. Up next is going to be CJ Savings, and he is getting $25. I did that in a 20 and a 5 as well. So he now has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 620, 640, 660, 680, 85, 90, 95. Actually, I wanted to give him an extra $5 to make it 700 I said I was going to do that. So he has 700 now. Up next is going to be car maintenance, and car maintenance is getting $100. So car maintenance now has 100, 200, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, $1,300. Which I'm going to be, yeah, this is going to be getting depleted here soon because I've already gotten my, I had to get a, um, had to get a water pump put in my car. And it was quite a bit of money, so I'm going to be stuffing, unstuffing money from here and also my 10K savings challenge to cover that. So up next is going to be my necessities. And in my necessities, I gave myself $25. So we are doing a 20 and a 5. And so I now have 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 125, 130, and 135. Yeah, I got to get that up too because I think I'm going to be taking my um, hair down soon. So... Up next is going to be CJ's necessities. He is getting 25. And he now has 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 160, 165, 70, 175. Up next is going to be home maintenance. And home maintenance is getting $100. 
So we have 1, 2, 3, 354, 455, 556. So we have $600 in home maintenance, which is really good. Um, I would like this to have a, I would like this to have a minimum of $1,000. If it doesn't, that's fine. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking about maybe slowing this one down. Um, because I feel like 600 is a good place. Um, yeah, I don't know. I would like to have a minimum for $1,000 for like our deductible. Um, so we, we're going to keep going, but I don't know how aggressive I'm going to be with it. So yeah, up next is going to be health and health is getting $5. So health known has 20, 40, 50, 55, and 60. And that is going to be it for this binder. Up next is going to be my green binder. All right. And we are going to put the rollover money that we had left in from groceries from my wallet. And I believe that was $30. I believe it was 30 Yeah, I think it was 30 so we're going to do a 20 and 10. We'll find out. We'll find out at the end, which still ain't going to matter because I'm going to have leftover money anyway, because I'm not doing my savings challenges in this video, but I definitely will find out when I do my editing. So anyways, in my grocery and home rollover, we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, which is perfect because school is about to start and, you know, you got to get the extra little snacks and stuff. Um, so yeah, up next is going to be birthdays and birthdays is getting 25. My son's birthday is coming up. My mother-in-law's birthday is coming up. Like we got a lot going on. So in birthdays, we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 65, 75. So 175. Up next is going to be date night. And I don't know if I put anything in here. No, I did not. No, no, nothing in date night. Moving on along is going to be Christmas for our Christmas savings challenge. We are going to be adding $25 and I did that in a 20 and a five. So this is my Christmas um, savings challenge uh, slash tracker. Each of these icons are going to be worth $25 for me again. So I'm going to go ahead and color one of those in. But Christmas has one, two, three, four, five hundred and twenty-five. These are just $100 um, prop bills. This represents the money that I have in the bank for Christmas as well. So we're going to go ahead and color in one of these icons. And we're just going to start right from the beginning. I'm just going to go ahead and do the, the ornament. I'm going to let that dry and we're going to go ahead and add this back into the envelope. I think we're good. Up next is going to be back to school. Back to school is actually getting some money this week and it is getting 25. Even though we've done school shopping, we still have to get some school supplies. I've already paid all his fees and everything. We did that this week. So we still have to get like school supplies and just whatever else random knickknack stuff we're going to need. So back to school has 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 66 and back to school. And if this isn't enough, what I'll do is just take money from his necessities because it's something that he needs. Um, so up next is going to be family fun and it is getting $10. So family fun has 20, 30, 40, and 50. Up next is going to be holidays and it is getting $20. So we have 20, 40, 60, and 65, and I'm going to color in um, the last four of these on the tracker here. And this is my Halloween savings tracker. This is also going to be, this, well, not going to be, but this is also available in my shop. So 
Um, if anyone's interested, you can reach out directly to me. I will leave my Instagram handle, also my personal um, business email as well. And you can also just leave a comment under the video. So these are worth $5 for me. So I'm going to color in four. Alrighty, so this is coming along really well. We have a whole row already completed, so $65. And I don't know exactly what we're going to be doing for Halloween just yet, but in the event that we go to like a Halloween party or something, I just want to be prepared. Um, so up next is going to be eating out, and for eating out, we're going to add $25 in here. I did that in a 20 and a 5. So eating out has 20, 30, 35, 40, and 41. Up next is going to be fun money, and it is getting, yeah, see something ain't right. It's supposed to be getting $5. We're going to just, let me break one of these tins. Give me a second. This is my overflow binder. And then also here's my savings challenges for my monthly for 2025. But this is like my overflow binder. So let's get a little bit of change for this 10. Okay, so fun money is getting five. And that's it. Um, I'm getting ready to start. I don't think I'm going to start putting money in vacation, but I have a envelope that I have already created for my monthly challenge for 2025, but I may go ahead and use it now because I have to save money for my girls trip for my birthday, um, which is in November. So yeah, I might go ahead and start adding that here because I want to, I need to start saving for that. Um, so yeah, that is going to be it. Let's see what we got left over. I feel like I messed up somewhere because in my mind, I should have had like $70. However, I did give myself an extra 20. Yeah, I gave myself an extra $20 in spending. So this is exactly right. So 20, 30, 40, 45, and 46 dollars. So this $46, I'm going to save this, and this is going to go into um, my savings challenges for um, this week. And yeah, we'll have a little more than this because um, I have some money put up from last week for savings challenges since I haven't did a video yet. So yeah, we'll have a little bit more, but that is going to be it. I just want to say thank you all for watching my videos. Um, thank you to all of my new subscribers. I really appreciate you. We are still on the road to getting 500 subscribers. And once we get that goal, we are definitely going to do a um, giveaway, which speaking of, I did not add $5 in my giveaway. I will be doing that as well. I probably will use this. Um, so yeah, we are on the road to um, 500 subscribers. And again, once we get that, I will be doing a giveaway. So again, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for watching. I hope you all are crushing your goals. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.